So let's make a new program and I'm inside again under my second pro project called input output and here I've selected the program CS file and here you'll see the main file. So what is main? Main is the place where it all begins. A main method, we'll get into this, but a main method is the place that everything launches from. That's where, that's the starting point of your application. So I used two different statements last time, an input and an output of something called console. So let's start off with talking about what is console. Console is a class that Microsoft built for you that has some features for you, some things you can do. So if I write console and then I do a dot, then you'll notice that I have a lot of different things I can do here. There are some properties, we'll get into those when we start talking about classes, and then there's a lot of different functions down here, like uh, the one we used was read line and write line, but there's also a B one, let's try that one just to see what it does. And then we'll do a console uh, read line below, there we go. Just remember that was to make the program wait for you. And I'll just start this now, just to see if this does something. It said beep, if you didn't hear it, it just gave me a small beep. So that was one thing we could do. Now, the console is a huge class that contains a lot of features you can use. But the most, the ones we'll use the most, in our case, will be the write line and the read line. Those are the ones. Now, the write line I just showed you earlier, this makes you write to a console. So you can write anything in here. Hi, guys. I am a Smurf. There we go. I'll save that. And then I can just do another one right below it. Um, I like yogurt. I don't even know how to spell that. Maybe that's right. If not, then you can leave it in the comments. I don't think there's a... I don't think there's a... I think it's... it's I can't, uh, who cares? So I'll add another console line here. Um, eat food. And I'll show you one more. Because console line makes a new line. But you can also write without the line. And then I'll say... And more food. And I'll just do it again here. And even more food. Let's save this and let's run it and let's see what it actually writes to us. So that's what you use the write line for. The write line is to add something to a console, to print something to the console, and there'll always be a console available for you. Um, even though you're not doing a console application, if you're doing Windows Form, it'll still be available for you. I'll show you that later as well. But notice I wrote, I wrote hi guys, I'm a Smurf. And that was with the right line, so a new line is added in the end. I like yogurt, new line. Eat food, new line. But then I wrote console.write and more food. There we go. And then write again with a small space here. And because I didn't write line in the end, I didn't write write line, then you'll notice that it actually just stays on the same line. Okay, basic stuff, but you guys know it now. So let's shut down the application again. The second thing that I, I showed you guys was that I could pull the information that I write into a variable. And in this case, if you mouse over here, it'll actually tell you when you write console.readline, you'll actually get a string back. A string is a type, um, it's a way for us to contain information inside our system. It's a way for us to store information. So in this case, the string, let's just write it here. It returns a string. And let's call it uh, input text. That's the text I'm getting from the input. And let's just lock this out again, what I'm actually getting from the input. So I'll just do a console line, and then I'll just write input text. Now, I wrote in my startup that I hope you guys had some kind of object-oriented um, knowledge about any language or you've written some code before. So I'm not going to go all the way down into the very specific types and how types are working, stuff like that. You'll have to go and read a basic, basic, basics book about how to develop. But this is kind of how you store what we call a variable. And that variable is now printed to see what it actually said. And then I'll just do another console read line here just to actually make it stop again so we can see what it's actually writing out. Let's try and stop this again. So you'll notice that it starts writing all the things we did and then it waits. And I'll just start writing something. Hi all, I like chocolate. I'll press enter and it writes it. Hi all, I like chocolate. 
I'll press enter and it ends it, right? So <clears throat> the reason that I didn't put in a new line was because I didn't write a line. And I didn't write line. So let's try and add those two, run it again. And this time let's try and debug. So I put in a breakpoint here, I stop the application and it'll stop not until I get to the input field. So notice that all these guys are here, but I can't write anything, right? Because it's not at that point yet. The debugger stops me before I can write. So let's step over and now I can write something. So I wrote all of this, I'll press enter. It gets back to the debugger and says, okay, now you put all that weird text inside this variable. Think of it like a local container that I can put stuff into that I want to use later. That's what the variable is all about. And then I'll just press continue and it'll write out my text that I just wrote in. Very boring. Press enter and the application shuts down. So that was the input, output, read line and write line. Now you know what that is all about when we do console locks. See you in the next lessons.